Hey guys, welcome to the shop tonight. Uh, I've got a very simple project that we're going to be doing. It's a fold-up table. My mom has one out at their campsite that they have and it's kind of beat up and she wants a duplicate for when other people come out and they can have more tables for cups, drinks, whatever. Um, I'm going to be using uh, whatever scraps I have around the shop, um, including uh, this little dowel right here. Um, it's going to be going through the middle and it's not strong enough. Uh, it's kind of weak. So I've got this even bigger dowel that I'm going to be drilling a hole straight through the center to make for a handle. Um, I'm going to be using some leftover flooring that somebody had given to me. Um, they're about the same size as the little slats on the top of this table over here. Uh, I'll be using one complete row with a, the bead part on there. Uh, I'll just be sawing that down and using that. Uh, it's just out of cheap pine. Um, and then, last but not least, I'm going to be using a 2x4. Uh, it's going to involve a lot of ripping and getting down to size, but it's very doable. I'm going to be trying to use only power tools or only hand tools. I don't think I need any power tools to do this. Uh, I'm debating on whether or not to use some little brad nails to pin down the top uh, so that they don't move. I'm going to be throwing some glue on there as well, but uh, I'm debating on whether or not to pin them down. So uh, I'm going to walk you through the table, show you it a little bit, see where it's breaking apart, and then get on with the build. Alright, here's the table. As you can see, it's not too big. How it works is that you pull the top part like this and it folds down and then the middle joints together and it folds up very skinny. It makes storage for it very easy to find. And then whenever you want to go use it, you just pull it back out. And this one you got to kind of work at it a little bit and then it's ready to go. It's got a little spacer right here in the middle. It's missing one on this side. Uh, it's supposed to make it so that it stays even to make it all look consistent. These little slats right here are coming apart. Um, let's see here. As you fold it down, you notice you got uh, metal holding it in right here and all these joints. You got a uh, metal rod running through the center right here with a wooden handle. All these right here, they're all rounded over. But everything else is pretty much flat. The, these are about a quarter inch thick. These are about an inch wide by about three quarter inches thick. Uh, there's not too much else to it. It's very uh, simple to make. And like I said, you don't need power tools to do it. So let's get at it. Alright, this table is like most of any other table. It has four legs. That's where we're going to get cut first. It's 24 and a half inches long. Okay, now after you've gotten your 24 and a half inch legs cut, you need to rip your 2x4 down to 3 and a quarter inches. To do that, it's helpful if you have a speed square. All you gotta do is put your pencil right in this little spot right here and draw right down the board with it. right here. They're 15 and a half inches long. All 
All right, now, next step I'm going to be doing is creating these little feet. Uh, there's no real rocket science to it. Um, it'd be different if I didn't have a model here to kind of get my angle, but because I do, I can go ahead and measure the, the length of each of the legs. Now, I told you that the longest part was 24 and a half. So what I need to do now is just find the short end, which is 24 inches. So what I'll do is just measure on one side. I'll get 24 inches and then uh, make a mark. Oops, a veil. Good old mark. Here we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and mark 24 inches. Grab my square. And draw that line. Now you just gotta make a curve on the top. I just found this in the shop. I don't even know what it is. pieces rounded over on the top um, you can sand them down after you chisel them out do whatever you however you got them that way using a coping saw whatever however you got them rounded you can take some sandpaper or something smooth them out a little bit more whatever um, but now we're on the part of actually drilling some holes and we're going to start with this one right here in the middle now the measurement for that one from the lawn end is 13 and a half inches. should be right around about a half, one and a half inches but uh, I'm going to be custom fitting each one since some are rougher than others and uh, I'm leaving some of the imperfections in it some might be a little bit shorter some might, some might be a little bit longer so I'll have to uh, kind of customize that <clears throat> all right so I've got my two uh, two sets of legs now. Um, I had a design change in the middle of it. Instead of using the or boring that bigger dowel out, I had a piece of metal, a uh, little bar that or a pipe, and I'm just gonna use that and it'll go over both ends once I put them together and it'll give it pl uh, plenty of support uh, for being a handle to carry this thin around. Uh, so I had a design change right there, and now the next step after that is going to be actually cutting out all these little slats, and they are 19 and a half inches a piece, and there's 12 of them. So let's go ahead and rip down whatever you're using for your slats. Okay, so now we're at the point of where we need to put everything together. 
and the easiest way to do that is going to be by folding everything up. Okay, you got to make sure you, if you use a pipe or something like that, you got to make sure that you get that on before uh, before you attach everything, or else you won't be able to get it all, um, or you won't be able to get it in there afterwards. Um, now we're going to measure up. From the ground, see what uh, what our first one's going to be at, and it's at four and a half inches on the outside one. So we're going to mark four and a half inches, and then you can install your first one. <laughs> trimming up these uh, supports near the bottom um, but you can sand it finish it uh, oil it do whatever you want with it um, it's very like I said it was very simple to make it only took a, a little bit especially with filming it took a little bit longer but uh, you know it's got the nice handle lightweight maybe weighs maybe 15 pounds and uh, built totally out of scrap wood out of my shop and as you can see it's a little bit lower when, it, when it's all closed up it's a little bit lower than this one back here this one's actually got spacers in the middle which uh, which I haven't put in yet um, but I will set it sets up right uh, maybe even add another another two slats or so to get it set it's about the same height as this other one but overall it's done uh thanks for joining me on this uh quick little build make sure you check out my facebook page at facebook.com a slice of wood um, and my youtube channel make sure you subscribe to that uh anything else can't think of anything else but uh hope you enjoy it hope you try it uh it could be a gift for somebody so you guys have a good day.